Hello traders, this is Rich Dare from TradeSite. I want to take some time and take a look at uh, how to optimize the display at the GAN levels uh, that are available from TradeSite on your eSignal platform. Now the GAN levels are really not the, the GAN levels themselves. What we're really talking about is the subset of GAN, which is Murray Math. Uh, the Murray Math levels are something that we use uh, day to day, and we find them very, very valuable for finding key support and resistance levels throughout our trading. So first, let me uh, let me walk you through how to uh, how to load up the uh, the Murray Math tool onto your chart, and then we'll take a look at how to optimize that for uh, your particular preferences. All right. So what I've done is I've just opened up a plain vanilla chart here. This one happens to be the Japanese yen in uh, the daily time frame. So what I'm going to do now is just going to go down here. I'm going to right click on the chart. When that happens, I'm going to get a pop-up window here. Let me see if I can bring it down a little bit more for you. I'm going to choose Insert Study, which is just a little bit out of view for you. But choose Insert Study, and there's a number of tabs here that will be available to you once that Insert Study button has been clicked. Click on Formulas, and go down to uh, your Trade Site folder. Open up your Trade Site folder, which you'll find right here right down at the bottom, open your trade site folder, scroll down, and then look for the uh, trade site GAN, select that, and then hit apply. I'm going to close this box. Now, after doing this, now you can see that the, the Murray Math levels have been painted on the chart. And people that are familiar with these uh, know what the, the colors correspond to and can really pick this up fairly easily. But oftentimes uh, newer traders want to see the levels identified this is uh, the key zero ace level, this is the four ace level, this blue line, and this one is the eight ace level. A lot of traders find it uh, more productive to be able to view the actual levels, so I'll show you how to do that without having to slide your chart. If you just slide your chart over like this, you can actually see these levels demarcated. Here's zero ace, here's four ace, and here's that eight ace level and also the prices associated with them are also depicted for you. But when you just pull up the chart in the default format, you see it like this because a lot of tra traders don't want their chart getting cluttered up and they want to have the most amount of data and the least amount of, uh, of text as possible. But if you do want to see those, what I want you to do is just to right click on the chart and then select Edit Chart. You'll get a new box that pops up here. Okay, then we're going to go to the trade site GAN frame. What we'll do is we're going to scroll down here to the very bottom. And you'll see a, an option here for the right margin, which defaults to 10. And it does that just to keep the numbers off your side so they don't clutter up your chart. But if you change that default number to 0, and just hit Enter, I'm going to close the box to show the chart again. Now you can see that when you default that to 0, you can see all of the levels displayed here. So here's your zero ace level, here's your four ace level, and then also you can see your eight ace level. So instead of being hidden like they were before, now it will default to, to showing that. So that's one trick. The other, the other, uh, the other trick would be to let's say you want to actually see the particular levels themselves. Let me show you how to do that. So go back into a similar sequence. Let me pull that up for you. All right, now this is this uh, this little tweak is going to be actually found in a different area from Edit Chart. So what we want to do is we're going to again right click on the chart, but this time instead of hitting Edit Chart, we're going to select Properties down here. I'm going to click Properties, and then we're going to get another another window that pops up here. Okay, what you want to do is you want to make sure you, you're at the area where it says Scales. Now under Scales, you'll see an option for the rate margin. It defaults to five bars. At least it should out of the box for eSignal. So what we want to do is we're going to increase this from five. I'm going to push this up to 14 bars. And as we do this, you can see when we go from the five to the four, back down to five. Now you can see that if we go up to the four bars, the 14 bars, now you can see that all of the numbers are displayed. I'm going to close this box. 
after that's done now what you can see is if you change your symbol something else let's say let's look at GLD now when you change your symbol you don't have to you don't have to pull the chart over to see what's what's recorded there now you can see the actual you can see your levels on levels and then also the actual values there displayed if you so choose a lot of times with the intraday with the intraday charts that you may have a number of intraday small charts on your on your window you want to kind of keep it keep it fairly compact but if you're looking at a daily chart sometimes this can be helpful to set up the, the to set up the default in this fashion so there's just a couple of options for you to uh to take a look at the first thing you, you want to do is you want to decrease the the space here between the actual lines and the in the levels and I showed you how to do that by using the uh right click edit chart and then if you want to see the uh the actual levels themselves you can uh, make that uh make that visible by adjusting that right margin found under the scales uh section under properties so just a couple of tweaks for you there that uh, you might want to play with uh, and hopefully you will find them useful uh and so this has been the uh, part three of our uh, of our ongoing series of uh, e-signal how-tos. Uh, so I uh, will make another one next week and uh, look at some other things. And uh, if you would like to have me go over anything in particular, please feel free to contact me. I'll put my contact information up here at the end. So, Aaron, All right, folks, so here's I'm my contact Mark, information. Monday, if you'd like to, uh, if you'd like to take a, take a trial, you can contact me. Evening, or if there's something in particular you'd like me to cover, feel free to contact me. And I'll, for stocks and I'll work. Not be happy to take a look at that. For futures with so, so, as always, today, thanks for listening. And uh, this has been Rich Terry from TradeSite. Good trading.